Hey guys, I wanted to come on here real quick and talk about some new plates that we just listed on our website. Um, this, this is what we're calling a coupling plate or coupling plates because uh, you do get two of them. And what it does, it merges a full size router sled upper, which typically includes 20 millimeter parts with a trim router sled lower, which would include the 16 millimeter rails and 16 millimeter bearings. So I'm gonna bring you in uh, for a closer look and show you what the difference is and why we wanted to come up with a new set of plates uh, for your router sleds. So what we have here are two sled assemblies. We have our full size router sled assembly and we have our trim router sled assembly. I made a video explaining the difference between the two and I'll link them in the uh, description. But in a nutshell, a full size router sled requires 20 millimeter rods because of its heftier and beefier size where the trim router sled has 16 millimeter rods um, because it's not as heavy. Now, some of our customers have indicated that they wanna use their full size router sled assembly but they wanna use it with 16 millimeter rails. And that's because one, they're a lot lighter and they're a lot cheaper than having 20 millimeter rails. The problem is that these plates, uh, when you buy a full size router sled kit from us, is that it is meant to be uh, mated with 20 millimeter bearings. And these blocks are SBR normally, these blocks are SBR 20 UU bearings. These here, because it's on 16 millimeter rails, this is a SBR 16 UU bearing. And so these, so these new coupling plates are meant to mate a 20 millimeter sled assembly with a 16 millimeter rail system. And so I have this one here for comparison because normally we would have this sled assembly, which is a trim router sled assembly, coupled with this 16 millimeter rails and the SBR 16 UUs. In this case, we have 20 millimeter parts above the coupling plate, 16 millimeter parts below the coupling plate. And so that's a good way to sort of think about this you know, coupling plate or transition plate is that the spacing is meant for, it's meant to accommodate these SK20 support brackets and these 16 millimeter or SBR16 UU bearing blocks. The other good thing about these rails is that they could be virtually any length that your workbench allows because they sit directly on the workbench. So as long as you have a nice and sturdy workbench, they are not gonna flex or bow or anything like that. And um, you know, they'll be plenty, plenty strong, plenty sturdy to support the weight of this full size router sled assembly. The other great thing about these coupling plates, and this is just a duplicate of this one, um, is that it is made out of 3 8 inch cast acrylic, very durable and it also includes the alignment tool aspect of it. So as you're assembling your um, router sled assembly, once you're done aligning your, your, your rods and making them nice and parallel, then you would remove them and attach your SK20 brackets and then attach the whole assembly to your SBR16 UU bearings.